Hi, I'm Keith. And I'm Georgia. And we're living a dream. So we are leaving Jordanelle State Park. Uh, here's some deer meeting us on our way out. We're going down to Timpanogos, Timpanagos. Um, yeah, you go on, Mom. Uh, caves for a hike up the hill. It's a mile and a half hike, 1,100 feet of elevation change. And uh, then a cave tour up at the top, and then you walk back down. It's about three and a half hours total for everything I think it should be a lot of fun it's about an hour drive away so we're we're heading out there now beautiful morning 47 degrees right now it's supposed to be 80 degrees today real pretty spot down in here there's a lake I'm not sure what lake it is but like all the other lakes it's down about 20 feet Deer Creek Deer Creek Reservoir you see a boat out there. Really beautiful. Look at the mountains coming right down to the bottom. up to Timpanogos Cave National Monument. We only got about a quarter mile to go. In a quarter mile, turn right. See? Timpanogos Caves is a national monument. The hike to the cave is 1.5 miles on a paved trail. The 1,092 foot vertical climb is the same height as a skyscraper with 102 stories. Round trip, including the cave tour, is three and a half miles. All right, we're on our way up the cave trail. And this is definitely pretty cool. All right, we're halfway.
All right, we're three quarters of the way. That's our goal up there. All right, so we just got done with the Timpagos, Timbag, Timbaganos, uh, caves. <laughs> uh, we're uh, a little south of uh, Salt Lake City, and that was a real trek for us, but we did it. Uh, we enjoyed it a lot. It was a mile and a half up the mountain with about 1,100 feet of elevation change. Then uh, the tour through the caves, and then back down the mountain so we had a great time and um i wouldn't trade that for anything because it was a great it, the scenery up there was spectacular and uh it was a beautiful time it took total of about let's see it's what time is it we left we headed up at 9 15. i think it took us exactly an hour and a half to get up the trail and it's 1 15 now so it was a four-hour total excursion. A lot of fun. Great time. Do it if you're out here. Now we're taking the drive through. This is the Alpine Scenic Drive. 
and this is going to be uh, really gorgeous too. So we're getting down near the end of our Alpine Scenic Loop Drive. Uh, we're going to head down towards Midway in Heber City and have a little uh, local food because we're starving. And we earned it today for the first time in a while. <laughs> we chose Melvin's Public House in Heber City to have dinner. The food and the drinks were great, but honestly, I was hungry enough to eat the ass out of a skunk. Buffalo cauliflower is a local favorite. The Salt Lake City area was one of our favorite stops. I'd love to get back there again sometime. Please join us in our next episode 
when we visit Hatch, Utah. We're hoping to visit Bryce Canyon and Zion National Parks.